Welcome to our last section as far as introduction to computer security goes. And this is one of my favorite topics. This is social engineering, or as I like to call it, hacking people. Social engineering is defined as the act of manipulating people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. Basically what we're looking at here is taking advantage of people's natural goodness to get them to do things that they normally wouldn't do or to get information from people that they normally wouldn't give. And there are two great quotes. The first one is from Kevin Mitnick. Kevin Mitnick is probably one of the most famous hackers of all time. Social engineering is perhaps the hacker's favorite weapon of choice, which is true. It's a lot easier to get somebody to tell you their password than to crack the password. And the other quote, which is unknown, is social engineering because there is no patch to human stupidity. If you want to learn more about social engineering, by the way, there's this amazing book. It's called No Tech Hacking. And I actually used this book with the Bureau to talk about social engineering. It's an amazing book. Again, I don't really think there was any technical information in here as far as coding or computer. It was just basically about people. So again, really good book. If you have to deal with an organization or you're in charge of security, read this book. It's, a, it's actually a must read as far as that goes. So let's continue our look at social engineering. Now, could you imagine if this showed up on your computer, if you were browsing the internet and this showed up? I mean, look at this. This is pretty scary. I mean, there we have President Obama. He's not looking very happy. We have these different government seals. We have an IP address. We have our t text that says attention. And if let's read it for a second. And you can see how scary this might look. First of all, we have the FBI, Department of Defense, USA Cyber Crime Center. And it says, you are accused of viewing storage and or disseminating of banned pornographic, child pornography, zoophilia, rape, etc. You have violated world declaration, blah, 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 blah. This is pretty scary stuff. And you don't have to be doing anything wrong because you would be amazed at how many good people would see that and go, oh no, I, I wasn't doing that. And oh, I'm going to get in trouble and I'm going to go to jail. And, and then over here on the side of this message, it says that the FBI, right? The FBI and the government will forgive your sins of looking at child pornography and zoophilia and rape if you just send them $300. Okay. I've worked with the cyber group and the FBI. I've worked with the CART group. I've worked with the group that deals with child pornography. They are not going to let you go away for $300. They're not going to fine you for doing this. They're going to put you in jail for doing this. So common sense would dictate that the government doesn't, doesn't give you a free pass, doesn't give you an indulgence, and you got to pay them in order to do this illegal stuff. They're going to arrest you. But you'd be amazed how many people would fall for this. And so what they're going to do is they're going to go to their local retailer, they're going to get a money pack, they're going to put the number in there, and the bad guys are going to get $300 for complete social engineering them. So this is a great example of some social engineering. And again, as we said in the previous definition, it's the act of manipulating people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. And there are several types of social engineering that we're going to take a look at. And each of these will be divided into their own lecture video. The first one is called dumpster diving, followed by shoulder surfing, then tailgating, and then finally the big one, which is spam and phishing. So in our next video, we're going to take a look at dumpster diving.